and creativity, prototoxic, paratoxic, and syntactic modes of consciousness. And a shaman is a very low-level awareness, goes into a trance state, places his consciousness in the eye of an eagle, and sees what the eagle sees. That is called prototoxic. So this prototoxic altered state of consciousness is the simplest way to break it down and Etymology, just well, an altered state? Well, I'm trying state? to give you an ontology of mystical states. That's in Chapter 8 of Power Tools. There's an ontology okay. of okay. mystical states. In hypnosis, we have 100, and in the ESP, I came up with 102 different relatable biological measurements related to the depth of hypnosis. Then, in Good. Power Tools, Good. I related the ontology of mystical states and in the non-local mind, the third in that book series, I'm going to relate neurotransmitters and their relationship to one another. What I did, I broke a language and was able to talk to a specific neurotransmitter using electromagnetic fields, wave shaping with Amora and Indomit. I could do a sawtooth wave and put a spack on it here, and I was able to break into and codex a specific neurotransmitter. That neurotransmitter gave me access to two other neurotransmitters because it talks to two others. The gate was broken. Then I had access. And that's where we're going in consciousness. And that's what I'm doing, well, you're... learning how, using my mind's eye, and visualizing certain specific... You know what a time machine is? It is a face center cubic hexagonal closed pack structure visualized in your mind's eye. That is Ezekiel's vision. That is the throne chariot of God. It is a time machine because your resonant cavity oscillation set up in the neural cavity a resonance and you visualize certain kinds of sacred geometry and now you have a time machine. Literally. And it's a metaphor of what I did when I did my studies with the military. And those three unpublished books are the Diamond Body, Electromagic, and the Yogatronic. You have no idea where we're going. This is very exciting for me because I've been doing this for a long time and most people don't even get what I'm trying to discuss yet. It's okay. Maxwell was the same thing. He had well, we can order your books, your workbooks, Power Tools for the 21st Century and uh, get started with the books and the workbooks. And would that at least prepare us to start our webinars if we tell people first Go towards the yeah, evolution of consciousness. I'd be happy to start there, yeah. I towards the evolution of consciousness. Course. Yeah, I would like to teach a one or two hour course every week for eight weeks for credit. And I'm good enough. I taught at Harvard, graduate level. And I'm prepared, if I can get the right staff to do artwork for me, I can put some material together that will lead you with Metaphysics 101. And we go right straight down. Well, Matt's down. pretty good. If uh, I don't know if he could do it while you're talking. That's almost like you have to do a uh, Spock mind meld, isn't it? <laughs> Star Trek. I know, have that device in, in my house right here. And I'm going to put it up for sale. Oh. I need to make money. That's how I'm going to have to sell my biofeedback laboratory. What I'm seeking, actually, are individual patents, pa patrons, for individual books that I've written. Five grand with a ten percent return on your money for sales and i've got 40 manuscripts ready to go right now Hoorah. and i have been doing this a long time and i think just the talk and the way i'm speaking you either get me or you don't I, that's why the military used me that's why old man depot was there and i am just one of several i'm in contact with other people you know there's um Jack Sarfati, you know the names. We've been around a long time. I'm 75, and I have got history of successful books that I've written. The magical and ritual use of herbs. I assigned rituals to keep those 28 herbs out of the Uniform Controlled Substance Act, 1974. So you've had to do legal as well, then. You're your own parallel. Well, that's I guess. what made peyote legal in the Native American religion and why you're able to do dimey church right now because these are native plants like cab crabgrass. It grows everywhere. It's a native plant. And it 
contains neurotransmitters, almost as if it's not about chemistry, it's a delivery system for God. Well, tell us a little That's bit about cool. mushrooms, because we don't want the Which kids eating the wrong ones. You've got ones. psychedelic, you've got gourmet, and you've got pharmaceutical. I have three new books coming out on how to grow each one of those in your home. Okay. So you're a, a survivalist as well. We don't cover much on your herbs usually. I'm more into the mind science and the science fiction yes, and getting you to yeah. write now, some good Philip K. Dick travels. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but in terms of allotropic medicine, they're now suggesting yeah. that psychedelic mushrooms heal you on a spiritual level, and that proliferates down into the physical. And that means placebo is now no longer 10%, but 60 And that's what the mind's eye is about. Well, what's the common ingredient out there? Is there, there, is there any in America that is like psychosyl? Was it psychosyl? Oh, I've forgotten. I can't even say it anymore. Not that I ever could. Basically, is there uh-huh. any out there that people grow in America that can grow uh, for real, that won't kill them, that uh, will make their a mind alter, possibly? The I'm not a mushroom person powerful. either. Yeah, chapter one. The one I gave my Navy SEALs was Cordyceps sinensis, and I hybridized it so that it delivered more polysaccharides, oxygen, on a cellular level than any other food in our, in our food arsenal today. And that has to do with ATP, which is, if you look at it, is a quark gluon plasma and where cold fusion occurs in the body. Goodness. Now... You're ahead of your down, time, that's for oh, sure. What's that? So you're ahead of your uh, time, that's, that's I, for sure. Well, that's what I did for sales. I was Aloha Medicinals, a Canadian rep for eight years until that criminal took our business away from us after I opened up Canada. Canada had restrictions. You know, you couldn't just do it. So we went in as dog cancer, healing the dogs, giving them... Cordyceps. Now, let me tell you this. If you feed your animal what you feed yourself, my chocolate lab lived to 18 years old. And I had to put her down with renal failure. And I was feeding her cordyceps. And that oxygen kept her dog, you know, my dog, just, she was an artifact from my little girl that died of leukemia. It was her dog. And when she died, I took her dog and kept him. And I kept, I fed Princess the same food I ate. And that dog lived to 18. And when I took and had to have Princess put down, I took her last breath of air in me. And that's because now Princess is still here with me. That's how you do it, physically. Well, you're a big help for all these authors out here, but we really would like to learn, at least the people I know, they're talking about having their own schools and me being like a ace life coach. You know, I just do a little bit in cosmology. I wrote knowing cosmology, but ascension age. Well, we can Let me get a little bit into that with I'm you. I have been mm-hmm. given a university, a real university with credits and all of that, registered in the state of Florida called Eric Fromm University. Matt A. Babarello, my friend since 1970, was head of the Brazilian Secret Service. And he retired after 42 years, a few years back, and then had a near-death experience recently. And I've got him on a special diet. Ha! He's not allowed to eat anything uh, more than 1,200 calories a day. And uh, everything he eats has to be 10% or less uh, from, from fat. That means power bars don't work. And... Uh, That man is going to live to 112, probably, even though he was obese. In Oregon, I would say that 12, oh, no, it's it's like one in four people are obese in Oregon. I have personally used my own diet, and I have lost 42 pounds in the last eight months. I'm down now at 210 from 267, and I'm... Going to 198, I don't know if I can get there, but that's where I'm going as a six-foot monster. And I, when I was martial arts, 
<laughs> it was 178, 179. So, you know, I'm an old man, and I'm trying to be like Norm Shealy. Walk my talk. And when you say a well, we're doctor, close to the same size. what's wrong with that picture? <laughs> Well, when I when I got in the Navy second time around as a four by ten, I don't know what I was in the beginning because I have no recollection or memory of it. But uh, the one I do remember, four twenty nine eighty five, I was five eleven, one seventy six pounds. But after aged, you know, that was in eighty five, and now this is twenty nineteen. But it's our bones must grow. I mean, you know more than I do about the human nice anatomy. Try. It's called muscle, not fat. And they're different. Muscle, not and fat. What I, I do right. swim. I swim, I walk, and I hike. And I, next time, we thought Matt was going to dance on all of our graves. And he died Christmas Eve in the Eric Angel aneurysm. You say the unexpected. We have a story to do here. And I have miles to go before I sleep. You have a lot of work to yeah. do, and we're hopefully going to help you. I'm not sure what our part is other than to get you to understand we're going to go through whatever it is you're willing to teach us in metaphysics, and that's because I enjoy learning. And there's obviously everybody doesn't know everything, so we put them in books so we can go when we can't uh, retain everything in this universe. So well, working the with the divine today cosmos. Don't even read anymore. That's the problem well, that we've got right now. People don't want to read anymore. Yeah, they're Why? visual learners with TV, and I, yeah, but I'm not what? sure. When I was in second grade, my my class taught Latin. Sum estes, sum estes sunt. Now, I'm going to say something. You know, the scholarship part of a grandchild swearing at an old man, what's wrong with that? Allotropic medicine, one size fits all. What's wrong with that? There are issues across the board that are metaphor in terms of there are three ways of being in this universe. This is my father's teaching. There's the vulgar, the adept, and the exempt. And the vulgar get audited, and the adept gets money back from the government. But the exempt has a 501c3. They don't pay taxes. And I've always wanted to be grade seven or above Master of the temple. That means I'm captain and commander. And right now, my grade is grade eight. I'm a GS-18. That means I don't report to anybody above me, including if the president of the United States were to show up. It's my bunker for the military. And it took me all my life to get to this place. And I'm captain and commander, just like in the movie. I run this ship the way I want to run it. And that's called being sovereign in the free state of Jefferson. There's a movie out about a thing called Black Rain, about the free state of Jefferson and a detective that's trying to solve a murder in that future crime. It's called Black Rain. It's a very interesting world. Ernest Callenbach. Well, you always promote You've always been good about bringing us a new movie we should watch or a trailer. They should pay you for that because you're really good at finding stuff that maybe people will miss. But uh, Black Rain. So you're saying that you like that movie? Yes, I did. There's a new one called The Code. And then there's a French movie on Netflix called Unit 42. But the one I really like, Designated Survivor. That's telling exactly what's going on in Washington, D.C. right now, metaphor. All right. Well, say it again so we can pay Which attention. One? So you you do pay attention to politics. What was the last oh, yeah. one you mentioned about well, Washington, D.C.? Well, what do you think is going on in Washington, D.C. right now with Trump and, and Clinton? Both of them, the, the president is supposed to represent our most scholarly and morally correct. And Clinton. I mean, Bundy Ranch here down just south of me was about uranium. There, she's going to go to prison. And Trump. Oh, my God. I didn't vote for Trump. I voted against Clinton. And Bundy. Uh, you know, I, 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 